All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Dash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shaz in the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Rachak Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of a great millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I basically just want to um, get into a quick lesson about this photo here that I ended up uh, seeing online. And it's a very spiritual uh, photo, okay? And you basically have this Israelite woman holding up a sign which says, Land stolen from natives, built by slaves, kept beautiful by, by Latinos. And it reminded me of the scripture here in Jeremiah 50 and 33, which says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. All that took them captives held them fast, and they refused to let them go. And basically, the children of Israel, all right, and the children of Judah, all right, that's uh, uh, basically um, the Israelites, okay, which consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the uh, biblical, you know, Israelites, all right? You are God's chosen people. And, you know, you're oppressed together right now, okay? Because if, uh, if you look at, you know, today's society, who's at the bottom? It's always so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. You know, we have um, always these low-entry jobs. You know, uh, our um, people are the majority in the prison system. You know, our... Um, our people are constantly living in, you know, the worst conditions, you know, in the ghettos, eh, the reservations, the barrios, okay? Our people can never, you know, get, you know, good jobs, you know. Uh, our people always have a hard time, you know, getting loans for businesses, getting loans for, um, you know, homes, okay? Everyone always makes fun of us, all right? But everyone wants to be us, you know, and the reason why is because we're the children of Israel. We we are God's chosen people. Everybody, you know, basically envies us. You know, they they want to be us. They 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 like the way we dance. They like the way we cook. You know, the way we dress. But then they hate us because we're we're the chosen people. You know. All right. The point being though is, you know, we're 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 at the bottom, you know, together. And they, like I said, this um, this sign, you know, is very spiritual and it says a lot right there, you know. Hey, I was said there, it, 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 the land was stolen by the, the natives, okay, which um, the Native American tribes, okay, they are um, biblically known as the Gadites and the Reubenites, okay. And then also, too, they which they don't like to mention, um, that, um, so-called Mexicans, okay, which are uh, the tribe of Issachar, they owned basically a, a chunk of the United States, pretty much the whole southwest region over there, you know, uh, California, you know, uh, Oregon, you know, uh, you know, what is that, you know, uh, the state of Washington, you know, what is that, uh, 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 New Mexico, Nevada, etc., you know, Texas, that was actually all uh, Issachar's land, okay, they stole that. You know, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, our number one uh, uh, enemy, okay? Then after this land was stolen, how it says there, it was built by slaves, okay? You know, basically Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the southern kingdom, you know? Hardcore slavery, and, uh, and all this stuff is just facts, everyone knows it, even though they try to, you know, when you're in, your, uh, in the school system, they try to, you know, basically... Rush past it. They'll teach it, but very little. And it's always, you know, uh, quickly. Because Esau doesn't want to uh, talk about the uh, atrocities that he has done. Okay? He doesn't want to be held accountable. Alright? For his actions. Alright? And then it says here, kept beautiful by Latinos. You know, basically, you know, for for the most part, it's what? The, the tribes of, uh, you know, Issachar, uh, uh, Zebulon. 
which that consists of pretty much you so-called, you know, uh, Mexicans and, and, and Hondurians, Guatemalans. All right, there's more too. You got, you know, a, you, on the East Coast, you have what? A lot of, you know, uh, 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 Dominicans, which are you uh, Simeonites. A lot of you, you know, Puerto Ricans, which are uh, Ephraimites, you know. And you, you, you're maintaining those lands over there. You got uh, Manassa, the Cubans, okay. They're out there in Florida, you know, uh, making sure everything's nice, okay. Because hey, the, the Latin tribes, they're basically what? You, you know, your cooks, your uh, janitors, uh, your landscapers. Okay, all the tribes are in construction, you know, window washers, you know, all that stuff. Okay, basically, uh, 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 the tribes are maintaining this place, but it's mainly the uh, the Latin tribes. All right, but like I said, it's all tribes. All right, but like I said, they, this uh, this speaks a lot right here. Hey, the children of uh, Israel, which can, that's the northern kingdom, you so-called Latinos and, and natives. All right. And and it says then the children of Israel and the children of Judah, which the uh, Judah is the southern kingdom, so called uh, blacks, all right, Haitians, Jamaicans, uh, uh, Trinidadians, okay, basically those of the Caribbean island descents, all right. Hey, you were oppressed together. Hey, you're oppressed in this place called America, worldwide too, but mainly where here in America. This is where all the tribes are, pretty much. Okay, they have come here to to basically serve slavery. They then this is a punishment from the heavenly Father. Okay, and it's no coincidence that, like I said, you know, I, you know, we're at the bottom. It's no co a coincidence that a, you know uh, our people are um. You know the majority in jail. It's no coincidence that um our people are are constantly. You know, getting uh, uh, harassed by these other nations. Our people can't, you know, uh, open up businesses or can't buy homes, um, you know, easily. Stuff is not by, it's not coincidence. It's because we're the children of Israel. All right. But see, eventually, all this, the, 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 us being at the bottom is going to end. This is not going to last forever. Okay. And and and, and prophecy is getting fulfilled. Let me get this real quick. Probably actually ended off with this because you know what? We'll just keep this, you know, uh, a short lesson. What is that? Um, the book of Baruch, the second chapter. I think around the twenty ninth verse. Okay. Actually, let me go up. This is uh, Baruch two and twenty eight. As thou spakest by the servant, Mo by thy servant Moses, in the day when thou didst command us to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them. And this is um, um, in order to understand this, you got to know the history. Now, um, after we you know got out of um. Out of uh, the first Egypt, okay, you know, after we fled from uh, uh, from that land, okay, you know that uh, you know the uh, the Exodus, you know, we um basically made a covenant with the Lord, okay, and Moses, who was that mediator, you know, was talking to the Lord, and the Lord, you know, gave him uh uh you know instructions, all right, and he made this statement to him, pretty much saying in Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter. He made the statement saying, look, you know, if you do all these, you know, uh, basically, if you follow the laws, the statutes, the commandments, you're going to get, you know, blessings. And the Lord, you know, he uh, uh, mentioned, uh, you know, several blessings. All right. But it also talked about curses and those curses were put upon us if we didn't listen. OK. And way one of the curses was what? Slavery. Hardcore slavery. Us be a. Uh, us being turned in, into a small nation, and that and, and that doesn't necessarily mean in uh, number as in population. Small can be also uh, uh, your um your status, your significance. Okay, and right now our people are looked at as nothing. Okay, we're the scum of the earth. You know. All right, and that's what he's done to us. 
And that's because we didn't listen to him. Okay? I'm going to keep reading. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And that's what's happening. Okay, you have what we call, uh, what, the Great Awakening. You have Israelites waking up all over the world, all right, realizing who they are and returning back unto their power. And that's because the Lord, you know, he's... um. You know, he's allowing this to happen. He's opened up our spiritual eyes and ears. Okay? And that's because, you know, he's going to fulfill his word. It's a, hey, we're in that, living in that time period where it's, it, it's, um, it's that, that, that time for us to, you know, uh, uh, awake, all right, from this uh, deep sleep that our people have been in for, you know, five, six hundred years. Okay? I'm going to keep reading. It says, verse 31. And shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, their power. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And think upon my name. Which that's what we're doing. Hey, what does the scripture say? The elect shall praise his holy name. Okay? Hey, the elect, they're going to um, follow the Lord. Okay? And it says, And return from their stiff neck, from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And that's what we're doing. Okay. Hey, we're turning away from our uh, wickedness. You know, we're not following the ways of this world. We're, hey, we're repenting. All right. We're, we're, hey, we're trying to get right. Now, are we going to be perfect? No. Not, not right now. We're not going to be perfect. But hey, we're trying. You know, LA, LA brothers are, you know, growing their beards back because they having a beard on your face. That's one of the laws. Us not, you know, eating pork. Shrimp, catfish, you know, uh, 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 you know, a lobster. Hey, we're not doing that anymore. Hey, that, 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 that's the part of the dietary law. Uh, you have, you know, some of our women who are, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, repenting as well, and who are trying. And hey, what are they doing? They, 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 hey, they're putting the head wraps on. They're dressing, uh, dressing modestly, you know, which that, that basically they're covering themselves up. Okay, hey, they're following their husband to the best of their ability. All right, you see, those are just the name of a, a, a couple things, and there's more. Hey, hey, brothers are observing the Passover, the Sabbath. Okay, you know, uh, the high holy days to the best of their ability. Hey, they, they, they're, hey, hey, they're, they're doing what's commanded of them. All right, now I'm gonna keep reading verse 34, and it reads, and I will bring them into. Bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be d diminished. And that's what's going to happen very soon. Hey, we're, we're about to, um, you know, basically uh, get our land back. We're about to be rulers soon. And it says here, And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. All right. And, you know, that's coming very soon. Hey, but before we, um, you know, get, uh, get that land, hey, we got to finish out this, uh, um, this punishment. You know, we, we got to finish it. We got to deal with, you know, uh, you know, this slavery, this captivity. Okay, hey, we're going to be at, you know, our jobs. We're going to be subject to payments, as the scriptures say. Okay. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be, at, you know, at the bottom. You know. But, hey, we're, hey but it's, time keeps bypassing. The Lord is increasing us. Okay. And eventually, He's going to save us and put us on top. It's just only a matter of time. You know, it's just that we got to be patient and keep, uh, you know, and, and keep doing what the Lord wants us to do. All right. You know, and, you know, this is, like I said, was just a quick lesson. You know, like I said, this was a, a very spiritual sign right here. You know, like I said, this just proves that we're the Israelites. Okay. If you got those spiritual eyes to see it. Okay. You can see that, hey, the, 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 this is the, the Lord's chosen people. You know. And it, it's going to... 
And it's going to be a beautiful thing hey, when the Lord gets us out of this captivity. And as the book of Wisdom of Solomon in the 5th chapter says, hey, they, 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 these people that had us in slavery, even the two-thirds of our own people who fought this truth, okay, the ones that were you know, st still being rebels, they're going to say, you know, when we're getting saved by the Heavenly Father, they're going to say, these are the people of the Lord, the ones that we had in derision, the ones that basically we had in slavery, the ones that we were fighting. These are the people. These are God's chosen people. You know, it's going to be a beautiful thing when, they, you know, when that happens. And there's nothing these people can do about it. And all they can do is just, you know, sit back and watch the show and be in awe. All right. But, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, I hope this was edifying. And with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemir Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.